చూడాపప్పు
a short message. I preached, I think, uh, less than five minutes last Tuesday, when was that? Last uh, Saturday. So, uh, this will be a little longer than that one, but hindi na hindi ganun kahaba. Turn to Psalms chapter 68, verse number 19. Kasi may mustadi na rin natin kung doon. Kung mayroon mga ganitong mga occasion, uh, ano yung subject na pumapasok sa isip nyo? If you were on my place at kayo ang magsasalita, what would you be talking about? <clears throat> Brother Bong? Party. Party? <laughs> okay, magandang idea yan. Or celebration. I want to talk about blessings tonight. Amen. And uh, Psalm 68 verse number 19, the Bible says, Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits even the God of our salvation. Let's pray first. Loving Heavenly Father, we praise you. We thank you for your goodness, Lord, to all of us. Thank you, Lord, that because of the salvation that you have given us, because of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have come to know each other as brothers and sisters in the Lord. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity of coming together this evening to celebrate your goodness to Brother Frederick and Sister Medell's family, especially to FJ, who is celebrating her first birthday uh, today. Lord, we give you all the glory and all the honor because we know that you alone deserve it. Lord, we also thank you even for the presence of um, some friends here this evening. Lord, salamat na nakasama namin sila. Lord, thank you for most of all for your presence. We pray that you will bless this simple message tonight that this will sink deep in our hearts and in our minds so that it will remind us of your goodness and of all the blessings that you have given to us. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, today is FJ's birthday. Amen. And uh, FJ is uh, a blessed little girl. Amen. Amen. She is blessed with uh, good life. Uh, the Lord has given her life. The Lord has given her, obviously, great health. Okay. And the Lord has given her godly parents. Amen. Uh, pa lang na bata ito, she is already very blessed because of those things. Well, itong verse na binasa natin this evening is a very short verse. The Bible says, Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord, who daily loaded us with benefits, even the God of our salvation, Selah. Now, uh, I, I learned, I see four things here. Very, very short uh, message, but I want to share to you four things about blessings. Uh, yung una is the source of blessing. This verse tells us of the source of all blessings. The Bible says, Blessed be the Lord. May I remind you tonight na lahat ng ating mga blessings ay nanggagaling sa Panginoon. Amen? Amen. The Bible says in, in James 1.17, you know the verse, the Bible says, every good gift and every perfect, perfect gift is from above. above. So lahat ng mga magagandang mga gift, every good gift and every perfect gift, the Bible says, is from above and come down from the Father of lights in whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. The Bible also tells us in 1 Timothy 6.17, doon sa second part of that verse, ang sabi ng salita ng Panginoon doon, but in the living God, we should trust in the living God, who giveth us, listen to this, richly all things to enjoy. So yung mga blessings natin talagang binigay ng Panginoon niyan para may enjoy natin yung mga blessings na yan. Amen? So, here we see the source of our blessings. That whatever blessing you have, you have to acknowledge that the source of that blessing is the Lord. Amen. The boss, FJ, she's a blessing. And uh, FJ is a blessing from the Lord because the Bible says that our children are a heritage from the Lord. The second thing that I that I learn here, hindi lamang yung source, yung pinanggagalingan ng ating mga blessings, kundi yung beneficiaries ng blessings. Yung beneficiaries, kasi sabi dito, Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us. Tayo. Sino itong us dito? 
Every one of us. In fact, all mankind are recipients of God's blessings. Amen. In fact, whether they are saved or they are maybe not saved. Look at your Bible in Matthew, for example, 5.45. Matthew 5.45, ang sabi dyan, He maketh His Son, S-U-N, yung araw, to shine on the evil. Yung mga masasamang tao. Uh, the Bible says, He maketh His Son to rise on the evil and on the good. So kung na-notice niyo, yung araw, hindi lang para sa mga mga magbabayit ng mga tao. Ha? Hindi sinabi ng Panginoon, okay, ay mga, uh, ito mga babait, so the sun will shine on those who are good. Hindi ganun ang Panginoon. So, the, the Bible says, He maketh His Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and send that rain on the just and on the unjust. So nakikita natin yung blessing ng Panginoon para sa lahat yan. Amen? Amen? But of course, if you are saved, if you are a child of God, you have extra blessings from the Lord. Amen. Lahat ng mga ano dito sa mundo, lahat ng tao sa mundo, they are enjoying the blessings of God. Who made the earth? It was the Lord. Who made Amen. the sun? It was the Lord. Amen. Everything in this world is made by God. And people in this world are enjoying the blessings that God has given. Pero tayong mga Kristiyano at tayong mga anak ng Panginoon, always remember this, you have extra blessings from the Lord. In fact, those are our true blessings. And we will come to that in just a little while. And number three, first is the source of our blessings. Our blessings are from the Lord. Secondly, the beneficiaries of those blessings, we are the beneficiaries of God's blessings. And the number three is the frequency of blessings. Sabi rito, Blessed be the Lord who daily. Nagita niya yan? Amen. So if I will ask you this evening, sino sa atin dito ang may blessing? Will there be one person here na meron siyang reason not to raise his or her hand? Is there anyone here tonight na makapagsabi na wala siyang blessing from the Lord? Wala, di ba? Because the Bible says, He daily loadeth us with benefits daily. Amen. There are never days, never a day goes by that we are not blessed. Walang araw na dumadaan na wala tayong blessing mula sa Panginoon. Amen. That Amen. means, Monday you are blessed regardless of kahit gaano at hindi yung mga problema ang pinagdadaanan mo, Amen. there is not a day na wala kang blessing na nanggagaling sa Panginoon. Amen. Amen. This is 24 7. 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Every single one of us, meron tayong blessing na nanggagaling sa Panginoon. Amen. Psalms 107 verse 8, pag binasa mo yan, when you go home, yung verse 8, yung verse 15, yung verse 21, at saka yung verse 31, pare-pareho ang nilalaman ng apat na verse na yun. In Psalms, Chapter 107, verse 8, verse 15, verse 21, and verse 31. Ano sabi doon? The Bible says, O oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. So makikita mo rito na siguro, hindi lang siguro, madalas may mga tao na hindi natin napapasalamatan ng Panginoon doon sa mga blessings that He has given us. That's why four times in one chapter, the Bible says, Oh, that man would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. That is the reason, by the way, kung bakit nandito tayo tonight. We are here because we want to praise God. Amen. Amen. We are here because we want to acknowledge the goodness of God. Itong celebration na ito, this is not just for us to have fun. This is our way of saying, Lord, thank you for that blessing. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for that little girl. Thank you for the one year that uh, the Lord gave FJ to Brother Frederick and Sister Manel. So this is our way of saying thank you to the Lord. So number one, we see the source of God's blessings. And then we see the beneficiary of His blessings. And then we see the frequency. Gaan kadalas tayo pinagpapanan ng Panginoon. The last is the quantity of these blessings. Because the Bible says, He daily loaded us with... Benefits, plural, marami yan. 
the benefits of the Lord come in various forms. Uh, many of our blessings are tangible. Pwede mong mahawakan. You have your car. That's a blessing from the Lord. Our children, they are a blessing from the Lord. Meron kang jewelry. That's a blessing from the Lord. You have cars. That's a blessing from the Lord. But you know what? We have intangible blessings as well. Actually, itong mga, the Bible says, all sin things are what? All sin things are temporal. Lahat ng mga meron tayo rin. Even the good stuff that we have, all these things are but temporary. But the Bible says, but things which are not seen are what? Are eternal. Those are our real blessings. Yung totoong mga blessing natin, hindi lang yung, it's a blessing to material things. Kung pinagtiwalaan ka ng paino ng mga material na mga bagay, you have houses for example, you have cars, you have those things, that's good, that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. You enjoy it. You enjoy it. But I want to remind you this evening that our blessings are not only material things, are not only physical things. Our true riches, our true blessings are spiritual blessings. Amen. The blessing of salvation. The Bible says in Ephesians 1.3 Who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in uh, or uh, spiritual blessings in heavenly places. We are very, very blessed. Amen? Amen. Amen. Marami tayong blessing. Walang isang tao rito na or walang isa sa atin dito na pwede natin sabihin na wala tayong blessings sa Panginoon. Uh, we have blessings. We have the blessing of life. We can move. We can walk. We can talk. We can see. We can hear. Our mind is working. And so, all those are blessings. Amen? Amen. But, our greatest blessing is the, our blessing of eternal salvation. Amen. Ito yung pinakamalaking blessing natin. That's why, kung, kung babalikan natin yung verse, the Bible says, Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits, even the God of what? Of our salvation. salvation. Nabanggit yung word na salvation. That, my friend, is our best blessing. Kasi yun yung blessing na hindi mawawala sa atin. Yung pera, mawawala or maiiwan natin yung mga yan. All these material things that we have in this world, maiiwan lahat yan. Pero yung blessing natin ng kaligtasan, our sins are forgiven because of the blood of Jesus Christ. And when we die, we know we will go straight to heaven. That, my friend, is our real blessing. Amen. Amen. We have a mansion in heaven. Yun yung blessing natin. Uh, yun yung totoong blessing natin. Now, what then is our response? What is our response? Sabi dun sa verse number, sabi na sa natin na verse, Blessed be the Lord. I check yung word na blessed. It means, uh, I do not know how they pronounce this in Hebrew, but it is B-A-R-A-C, uh, B-A-R-A-K, parang barak. Okay? Uh, that's the word. And the definition is, a primitive root to kneel by implica implication, to bless God as an act of adoration. It means to kneel down, to praise, to salute, to thank. That means because of all the blessings that God has given us, we should be thankful to the Lord. Huwag natin kakalimutan yan. We should always remember that these blessings, whatever blessings you have, whether it be tangible or intangible blessings, we acknowledge that all these blessings are from the Lord. And because we have, we have been blessed, then we, we, we give honor to the Lord. We thank God because of all these blessings. Amen? Amen. Amen. So tonight, uh, let, us, uh, let us celebrate God's goodness because of His blessings that He has given us. Because of the blessing that God has given Brother Frederick and Sister Madal. And if you are here this evening, maybe you are a member of our church. But I want you to search your heart tonight. Are you really saved? Have you accepted, have you received the blessing of eternal salvation that God has given us? At if you are not sure about that, my friend, uh, God wants you to have that blessing. Amen? God wants us to have that blessing of eternal salvation. The knowledge that when you die, you, you go home to be with the Lord because you have Jesus Christ in your heart. You have a personal relationship with God through Jesus Christ as your Savior. 
Loving Heavenly Father, we praise you. We thank you this evening for this wonderful time that you have given us to come together and celebrate your goodness. Lord, we thank you for our friends. We thank you for our members that are here joining Brother Frederick and Sister Madel to celebrate, to celebrate your goodness for the gift that you have given them. Lord, I pray that you will bless Fiona, FJ. Uh, help her, Lord, to grow up with good health and strength. And Lord, someday when she knows what is right and what is wrong, Lord, I pray that you will help her uh, discern what is right and uh, help her do what is right. And Lord, we pray that someday when she reaches the age of accountability, that she will come to know Jesus Christ, that she will put her faith her absolute faith in Jesus Christ alone as her personal Savior. Bless Sister Madel and Brother Frederick to be good parents to her and Kate to be a good sister to, uh, to FJ. And all of us help us, Lord, to be a blessing to this little girl and to this family. Lord, we pray that you will guide us tonight so that everything that we say, everything that we do, will bring glory and honor to your holy name. Because tonight we are here to celebrate your goodness to each one of us. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.